want to start out by shouting out the vast majority of Americans who are listening to all the guidance, because, you know, the new federal guidelines came out uh, yesterday. And we just thought we should start by saying to all the vast majority of Americans who are listening to guidance, according to the CDC, over 90 percent are following distancing guidelines. You know, the original estimates for compliance were just 50 percent. So as it turns out, all of us are saving thousands of loved ones that the government thought would not survive. I just wanted to put that out as good news. We are flattening and moving things along, and it's a good thing. And there are states tightening guidelines. There are folks protesting about lifting restrictions. But eventually, life will go back to normal-ish. So my question to all of you is, what has to happen for you to feel safe about returning to business as usual? We'll start with you, Sonny. Mm. Uh, you know, it's a question I've been um, asking myself and, and discussing with my family and my friends. I would like to see, of course, a vaccine. Uh, if not a vaccine, some sort of course of medication uh, that makes uh, the ramifications uh, from the virus better. Uh, uh, and I also think that we, um, I, I would need more information, um, sort of the tr uh, more testing, because if I know that I can be tested when I'm go and everyone else is being tested when I'm going into my place of business, I think that would um, make me feel more comfortable. Okay, how about you, Megan? I know you're a little conflicted about all this. Yeah, I mean, I think the problem is, as Sunny just stated, there's been so much misinformation that it's hard to even trust what people are saying. Um, I guess a vaccine, I think no matter what, we're probably going to have behavioral changes that we'll keep for a while. I do think people will probably be wearing masks out in public for a long time. I think social distancing will probably be a thing for a long, a long time. I think if we go to restaurants, our tables will probably be six feet apart. It's it's funny, I actually was talking yesterday with Abby, our old co-host, on the phone, and we were both saying that we really can't come up with a way that we would both feel comfortable. She has three young children, I'm pregnant, and I think the government is going to have to show us, you know, real concrete evidence that this virus is tamped down, or at least the curve is tamped down, because again, there's just been so much misinformation that it's hard to trust what we're being told. Yeah. What do you think, Joy? Is there anything specific that you could think of that might make you want to come back outside? Because I know you haven't been out in, what, three, three weeks? Three? Oh, oh, it's more than that. But I do, I go out, but I don't go anywhere. Where am I going to go? But um, right. I, I'm worried about, I worry about this a lot, every day. I mean, I don't know when it, feel it will be safe to go out. Even when they have a vaccine, what's mm -hmm. going to happen? Those anti-vaxxers will be out in, in large numbers telling us that it's harmful. You know, I mean, it's a tricky business right now, and I'm not putting myself in any position to, to go anywhere yet. I'm listening to Dr. Fauci mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Andrew Cuomo at the moment. Right. Yeah. Okay. I feel the same way. I, you How know, you? I, I'm not going to feel comfortable. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to feel comfortable until I know that even if one of us has it somewhere, there is something that will take it and make it go away. Or, you know, lighten it up and it won't kill people anymore, much like these crazy flus. You know, we, we go through this every year. We get these insane flus that, you know, start you on all kinds of medication and then they disappear for a while. So I, I'd feel better if mm -hmm. I knew how this thing acted, you know? How yeah. I, because yeah. if you have it, I want to know, if you've had it, can you get it again? You know, yeah. there, there are too many yeah. mm -hmm. question marks for me to, to comfortably step outside and say, I feel good about this.